Hey y'all, so I'm back with a Simply Gilded subscription. Oh my goodness, I said prescription. Subscription. Um, I'm trying to do this actually pretty early. I did get this on, um, sorry, on Saturday, I believe. Um, but I wasn't home. You're gonna hear my dog in the background because he uh, is not leaving me alone since I have gotten home. Um, which is fine because... I love him to death, but I got another Simply Gilded. I already took it out of the wrapping just because this is really annoying sometimes to like open this because it makes a lot of noise. I don't like that, but in this month, so she, all right, we're going to rewind. Um, she does videos on her Instagram, um, simply at Simply Gilded box. Yeah, that's all it is. Um, she does videos of like previews of what the box contains and she usually includes everything except the mystery item because like that's only visible to the people who actually get the subscription um which is I try to like avoid showing you guys in this video in these videos I actually take a separate clip of it now um because I've learned that that's nice um she usually also has it in a regular like box hello um a regular box I use these to actually decorate a little bit because I love them um but her videos I never watch them because I like the surprise um sometimes like I'll see I'll skip to like a certain point where you can see like um what the bigger item is but sometimes I don't even do that because I'm just like mm, we'll see what it is when it comes um, so this month, like, I didn't even know, but it doesn't come in a box this month. It actually is in a bag, and it's actually really cute, and I'm going to try to get rid of this glare, which I don't know if I can. Um, nope, that just makes it worse. We'll just deal with this. Um, it's, like, fawn-themed, like, really cute. I think that's actually what the theme is this month, is fawn. Um, so we're going to grab everything out. But it's a pretty decent sized bag. Like, it's as big as my head, if not bigger. So, I really like it, and it's really soft. And I like that. So, it looks like everything is in, like, a little folder this month. Maybe not the washi, because I think that's probably in the bigger item, which I'm going to save that to the end. But this folder is, like, really cute. I'm actually wondering if this is how she's going to do the subscriptions from now on, is in these little bags. Um, I guess we will find out eventually. Let's see. I just, I want to go through this and see if there's anything I definitely need to take out for the sheer fact of it being a mystery item, which I don't see any of this on here not on here so I think this is all supposed to be part of the box um so or all allowed to be shown so the box was called fond memories now one thing about her subscription is this is actually the November 2020 box um but this these come uh like the first week of the month afterwards if that makes sense I think it's pretty cool that she does it that way, but it's also very confusing to me. Um, just because, like, I'm like, okay, it's supposed... It's the month before, and I always call it the month afterwards when I actually receive it. But that's not what it is. So, the first item I will show you. And I know it's on here, so... At least I think this is it. Yeah. Um, is a sticky note pad. So... I don't like this lighting, but it's pink with polka dots, and yeah, it's just sticky notes. And that's on here, so I know that that's okay to show. And then there is this journaling card with the rose, or with, oh, that's just normal gold. Uh, gold around the heart, also fawn themed. Then there is the... I think this is the extra kit, yeah. Found the mystery item, I think. Then there's these vellums, which one of them is the fawn, 
Um, I can't open things worth a darn today. So one is Fawn, and then the other one says, hello, uh, fall in love. Oops. So fall in love, and then the Fawn. And I, these are all, like, B6, but you can cut them down. Um, my thing is, is I have an A6, and it's, like, pretty thick. So, like, sometimes I have to, like, makeshift these to fit. So then there is the uh, Deluxe Sticker Kit. I'm going to keep the thing that I think is the mystery item to the side just for now because I don't know if it's actually the mystery item or not. And just for like the sake of you guys, I'm going to keep it off to the side. So the stickers this month are all, again, fun themed. Um... Or reindeers. Kind of looks like some reindeers. But those vinyls or vellums are on here. This one right here. And then the journaling card is on here as well. And then this is the second sheet. And all of this is in gold. I always think it's rose gold and then I think about it and then I'm like, oh, it's gold. Oops. So there's those. Then you get your icon sheets which they look pink with like a sparkle on them um yeah there's like a sparkle to them and then you have your numbers and extra icons at the bottom they are also gold um foiled and there's this extra sheet of like half boxes and one full box and some decorations and checklists these are always very cute I actually think this would be nice for like a Christmas themed week that's probably what I'm gonna end up saving it for um, and then her bows her seals uh, I think that's what she usually calls them yeah the bow seals so this is very adorable and then her b6 journal that she always sends I usually hate showing this in the wrapper uh, but I always end up doing it just for the sheer fact that I never seem to remember to take the plastic off. Let's see, where's that little hole that she usually has on here? Okay. We're just going to go up here. Do that. Alright. Here we go. So it has the gold foil. Um, it looks like a, like flowery circle with the bow inside um, and it is a blank book there's no dots in this one so that's different from like the ones that I have gotten all of her ones that I have are dotted um, so that's definitely different to me I'm just gonna really quickly put this back all in the pouch this little thing because I like to keep these nice until I can get them actually in like the old the one sticker book that I have from her her from like the first month that I ever got from her so I'm just gonna open this off screen because I'm gonna show you guys this last oh wait okay this is the mystery item found the mystery item so I can show you these so it does say on here deluxe sticker kit and bonus and I didn't know if I included this or if like her bonus is her normal bonus um, like the extra stickers so like I just never know but this is her bonus they are really cute um, I think yeah this goes with this month's subscription there's different ones that like you can use for throughout the year like give thanks um, yeah, I'm showing you the other side, too. Um, Joy, there's the bow, uh, Jingle All the Way, there's Merry Mail, there's Champagne, um, Home for the Holidays, and then, like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different ones. And then this one, I think, is, like, a collection from all of her months, or her, like, most famous months of 
boxes that she's done. So she has the rainbows. Um, there's an extra one of these moons, which was one of my favorite subscriptions. And then keep looking up. There is uh, endless summer bee leaf. And then there's like a moon. Uh, the heart with rainbows. That's always cute. There's a swan. Um, so yeah, those are not the mystery item that I thought they were. But that's okay. I just kind of blanked. I will show the mystery item at the end, um, but I'll put like a spacer between Kelly Coda yelling at one of my dogs. All right. Now I did. I do get the extra washi. I love her washi bags right now because this is them. They are very cute. Um, I like that they're pink this month. I'm not usually a pink fan, but, um, I thought it, I think that looks cute still. Oh, there's quite, there's, okay. So, I forget if I said this. Um, I do get the bonus washi that's like the extra five, um, dollars. And I just, um being bothered on my phone so I just had to answer that but I did get the extra five washies so they're they're actually really cute this month um I don't know if you guys can tell yeah this is one thing I hate about my camera is the glare from these things is always so hard to see with um I can't open things today. It's just not my forte. So let's see. Can I get it? <sighs> I should get better at these. But it's just coming off piece by piece. Alright. There we go. So the first one. They're stuck together. The first one is like a vine in gold then the second one is like a heart plaid in gold obviously all of these are gold sorry then there's light blue with gold foil at the bottom that's actually just one all one and then there is like the fawn coloring with the bows so those are really cute these I think are the smaller the smallest millimeters I can't remember the sizing of them because I'm just not very good at remembering sizes. I think they're like, I want to say 1.5s, but that's not right. I think they're like 0.78s or something, 0.78 millimeters or something. Um, then, yeah, these are the perforated washies that she sends. So they're like big enough to be headers. Um, so this is a blue and gold one. And then it looks like she sent another washi that has, like, love, gratitude, memories. Looks like it just keeps repeating that. Um, and this one actually isn't perforated. So usually these ones are perforated, too, and you can just use these as headers, too. But this one's not perforated. So this month is just, I guess, a little different with that one. <sighs> Next one is a pink, like a pastel pink with ribbons on it. Obviously still stuck in gold. Uh, everything this month looks like it's gold themed, which is normal. She usually picks a random foil and does that. So this one's pink with gold bows and like gold dots. And then the next one is like a fawn color. Oh, this big one. There's also a smaller one. So like half its size or half the thickness. So I'm not even, I'm not going to worry about showing you guys that one because the, the bigger one's easier to see than the smaller ones, I think. Um, so yeah, there we go. So this one is fawn colored with the bows on it and they're really spaced out so you probably could use this for almost anything um again gold themed 
I'm like adding trash to my desk. And then this one is their sparkly one. They usually add at least one sparkly one um, to every box. And I use their washi like a lot. I don't usually, I didn't used to use washi um, until I started getting her box. And then I was like, oh, I love all these washies that came with it. So like I started using them like crazy. And like I don't regret using them because they're so pretty. But this one's their sparkly gold one with flannel and uh, gold ribbons. I actually keep all of the washi in one of the little bags. This one is full so I have to get another one. Um, but I keep all of it in like a bag that came with the order. So there's that. Then their gel pen that always they always have at least one pen in their subscription. This month is an all gold one. Nothing's engraved on it except up here at the top, simply gilded and their bow on top. Which is normal. They always do that. Um it is a ballpoint. They do put a protector on it, which is usually pretty difficult to get off. Um and it is gel. But they write really good, but I always have to be careful because I feel like I smear them too much. That's the only downfall I think of those pens. Like, I think it also could be the paper in my planner that does that. Um, but I'm not positive. So, the big item is this little, I say little, this pouch. Um, I love these kind of organizer pouches. I just think they're really cute. And I've always wanted one, but I, like, never seem to buy one just because I'm like, yeah, I don't really need it. Um, but this is really cute. I love the flowers on it, and it's, like, a pink beige or something. Um, there is a pocket on the front that you can just slip, like, little things in. And then you open it, and there's the heart pouch or heart pocket that you can slip things in. And then two divided pockets up here. And then these are actually really cool. They're snapped in and you can take them out pretty easily, supposedly. Um, so there's a clear one and then there is the pen one that's actually double-sided. And then there's nothing back here. Um, but she made these pen holders actually pretty easy to slide pens in. Um, so you can just like easily slip something in. You don't have to worry about it um, being a war to get it in. Now something I actually wonder, I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah. I was wondering if my A5 planner for next year would fit. It's just a little bit small, so it won't fit in here. I was hoping it would just because I, um, I would have loved to use this as my planner holder. My A6 right now would definitely fit in here. I know that because my A6 is pretty small. I started pen dangling. So yeah, it's, it's more like a B6 maybe size. Um, since she gives us B6 stuff, I can just try that. So, here's the B6 book. Yeah, so the B6 fits in here and it's still a little bit of a room. Um, I don't know if somebody would want to use this as like an actual planner holder. Just for the sheer fact, uh, the A6 doesn't really fit in here. It's like a little loose. The B6 kind of fits in here and the A5 definitely doesn't fit in here. Um, so I don't know if anybody would use that for this or use this for that. But it is very cute and nice to organize things on the go. I know I'll probably use it for when I travel or just to keep it in my purse so I have things with me. Because um, I tend to plan on the go. Now, this subscription is a monthly subscription. It's usually $35, I believe. Um, but you, if you upgrade with the extra washi, no, it's $39 usually. If you upgrade with the washi, it comes to um, $45. Or 40. Yeah, I think it's $45. Um... 
and as I said it always ships the next month like what you see as the month before is always shipped the month afterwards and you're usually billed I think on the 20th I usually get these like I got these as I started with these as um gifts my family had surprised me and started getting these as gifts and then last month I used credit that I had um for not well not November October I'm sorry um I use the credit from like purchases I've made from that company to sign up for another subscription or sign up for the October subscription and I forgot that it's a two month um minimum so I got this month as well and I'm not I don't regret it it's very cute and I do like it and I'll pr definitely probably use it for um the Christmas week just because I think that would fit perfectly but this yeah if you sign up for the subscription there's a very limited um, amount of space but usually like even after they sell out they end up getting things that or getting more boxes made than they need or there's people who cancel at last minute and stuff so they always end up having a restock um, and I think they sell like the extras from the boxes as well. Now, um, I'm trying to think, you can skip a month if you're one of those people who like to actually look to see what that theme is of that month or like to see what's inside the box because she does do that on her Instagram you can go there and look and then decide to skip a month but you have to email them and be like hey I want to skip this month can I just wait till next month which is also how they get like extra boxes near the end because they plan on the people who already have a um, continuous subscription and when those type of things happen, they end up saying, oh, okay, well, we have one extra box now. We can add that to the restock. Um, their customer service is amazing because when we did sign up for this as a present for me, my mom and I actually sat down and did it, and I gave them my email right away, but I ended up typing my email in wrong. <laughs> so we had... Um, we hadn't heard anything back from them. I couldn't give my mom a receipt or anything. Um... So I actually messaged them and um, I talked to them for a good minute and they actually looked up my account or tried to look up my account and saw that my email didn't show up and then they tried just typing in like the first part of my email and found out that I actually mistyped it. So they have really great customer service. I know there's other people on YouTube that film videos for them and upload them. Now, I'm going to stop talking so I can show you guys the mystery item next, and this video is already really, really long. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but this company is amazing. Um, I hope you guys all have a good month, good week. I'm hoping to get this uploaded today. It's the 7th. Yeah, today's the 7th, so I'm hoping I'll get this uploaded today, and y'all can check it out um, and have a good week. See ya. Okay, real quick, here's the mystery item. So it's in a little baggie. If you can't tell what it is, um, I, I don't know. Um, but I grew up on these kind of things. I love these things. It's a scrunchie. I think it's adorable. And it's fawn themed. Um, and it's got like a little bow. Now, I know people now like just wear these, but I actually use them in my hair but I would probably end up wearing this too. But it's very cute. It's soft, and I don't think it would be one that would, like, grip onto your hair, like, to pull it out or something, because that's the one thing I have issues with just because of how curly my hair is. But it's very cute, and I love her mystery items because they're always, like, really worth it, and I just think they add a special touch to the box. And this actually matches this. So it's pretty cute. So that's the mystery item. Um, I hope you guys all have a good day. See ya.